Good afternoon, Nerd Fam, and welcome back to Salt Lake City, Utah. We are here coming to the conclusion of what has been a stellar week at KubeCon North America. My name is Savannah Peterson, joined with Rob Streche for what I think is one of our community favorite segments. I think so, I think it's one of my favorites, that's for sure. I remember it from the first time I was on back in Amsterdam, doing yeah. it with you, which got a little out of hand, but that, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> but I, I, I liked the, the feeling behind it, of why, the reason why you, you kind of created this segment. So I'm, I'm yeah. a big fan of it. it. It means so much to be able to show off what's happening on the show floor, but also the creativity of the companies that are here beyond the tools that they're creating and, yes. and, and the stories that they're telling. Rob, I got to say, this look is really working for you. I, I, I got to say, Bootsy, <laughs> yeah. thank you to Red Hat and for these glasses. Uh, obviously, if you put in Bootsy into uh, Google, you get to see a lot of uh, stuff about Bootsy from uh, Parliament Funk, which, big fan. So, yeah, again, love that they went this direction. My head's a little fat for them, but that's okay. <laughs> They're kind of a little bent out, but, you know, we're making it work. I, I, I think it works. I think the look rocks. Yeah. I think that I think the Red Hat was really creative in, in, yes. in doing this, and, and I feel like a star. I do, I too. I don't know about, I don't know about I'm you. glad we color coordinated as well. That was <laughs> yes. very... It's very like good. we... The audience might not know that we do actually text about our clothes. Yes, I know. <laughs> fun, fun fact, Robin Sav right. talks about our clothes. Speaking of clothes, let's get started with some of the swag clothes that we have on the set. I want to get us kicked off with this golden Kubernetes shirt that we have here. This is the official 10-year anniversary shirt. I actually won this. This is the grand prize if you purchase anything from the CNCF store. But it's pretty sweet. We saw the shirt on the keynote stage today, actually, as well, which is fun. And speaking of Kubernetes-specific swag, I actually actually purchased this for myself because it's such a nice sweater. CNCF team, I just want to give them a shout out. They've always done a great job with the swag. You know, I have my Fitbit hoodie. There's a lot of hats and backpacks and cool stuff. This is actually a cozy sweater. You can attest I was wearing it out to drinks last night. Yes. And you said your wife would even I, I think my one. wife would like that. I, in fact, I may buy it for her, so we'll see. Yeah, exactly. A little, little inspo, a little cozy, especially being here in, in Utah. It's a little snowy. It's a little chilly. We, we got to see snow this week. Speaking of snowy and chilly, I know you and I are both really excited about this one. We have a fun boy, Opre shot ski. It's an inflatable shot ski. The folks at Tintree really went all in. And I don't know about you, actually, I'm curious, Rob. Were you expecting there to be such a commitment to the ski theme as there has been at this show, Vin? I didn't. I, I, I think uh, people really, I'd like you talk about, you know, when they looked at the location and their marketing teams really leaned in on that and you know it's uh, getting to new heights with kubernetes is kind of the you know paraphrasing the slogan so i think you know again this was a good one to lean into yeah, I thought it's a really fun theme. It's all over. There's actually a chairlift photo booth over in the back corner. There was curling over there. I don't know if you've had a chance to see that. I, see that yet. I feel like maybe maybe it was more obvious to apparently everybody else about the ski theme, but I think maybe because it's a little before ski season, I wasn't thinking about it. Actually, I saw it's not on the show with us, but I saw that Portworx is giving away an icon pass as one of their raffles, which wow. I thought was very clever. Yeah, I know they went clever. for it. I know that you're going to want to bring this to Thanksgiving, so I'm going to go ahead and there you just go. hand that to you right now. <laughs> Also from Tintree, I gotta say, I gotta give them props, like I was saying, they went on full 80s throwback with, with the ski outfits. There's mullets over there, there's fanny packs. They've even got gloves in here to keep your hands nice and toasty. Might as, might as well put them on here as I uh, embrace. Oh, they even have the fingers so you can use your phone without taking them off. Yeah, That's, they even have the phone finger. Yeah, absolutely, it's, that's great. It's nice to have yes. a little phone finger. <laughs> They also did a whole, um, they have a bunch of different posters, Back to the Future stuff, and because they're clearly 80s babies, or at least really celebrating it, these are all slap oh, bracelets. Oh yes, the slap bracelet. I know, OG3, yes, there Rob, go. good slap. <laughs> Don't worry, production squad, we have plenty of snap bracelets <laughs> for all of you. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I know that day three of any event can be uh, maybe not as rested or or um, easy to face as as day one. Love that the folks at Space Lift here went to went ahead and pulled together a hangover kit. I didn't even open this until today. Yes. They've got gum, which is great. Who doesn't need gum when you're eating conference food? A little bit of Advil, 
a liquid IV, which especially here at altitude, who doesn't need that? And just because you're touching a lot of things and people, some some uh, hand sanitizer here. Yeah, but a fun and it's even kit. got the logo of Open Tofu on the other side there. So, uh, which yeah. with the, and they were smart. They were actually giving it out on day zero. <laughs> <laughs> as well, yes. prepping people yeah, yeah. for the long Having week. This, so, yes. uh, a show I went to once, actually, it was a very intimate show, and they'd rented out the whole hotel. They actually hung hangover bags on the morning door, so when, uh, you, when you came in, when you opened your door, you had a nice little present, which I thought was really clever. But this is always useful. We're all about the useful, the, all about the useful tools. Speaking of interesting little additions, so uh, Guac is one of the projects here. They're all about securing your supply chain. Cute baby little avocado here, and it's chain mail. I know that Anderson on our production team is excited to take this one home. We have we have also featured their shirts before. Small but mighty team over there, but with a lot of clever, fun punch. As a millennial, really relate to anything avocado. Not shocking, not shocking there. Also in the plushy category, the crew at Sunrise had a Yoda, which I haven't seen milling around in a, in a while. I don't know if we're still in a baby Yoda phase, if we've moved on from maybe that. There's, maybe there's a new one coming out. I don't know. I, I, haven't, know. I haven't tracked that. So. Yeah. I feel like they would probably know. The nerds probably, probably definitely, definitely know what's up. But a lot of folks bring gifts home for their kids. Always very lovely. Now, this is kind of fun. I've actually never seen one of these, and this is called a Magnusculpt. This is from Dynatrace, and they have... <laughs> I should probably take these gloves off for my own sanity. You can create, I'm going to give this to you to have as your, sure. your little, oh yeah, here, I'll show this. So there is a That's the pad you put it little magnetic on. base yes. here for you, Rob. Yep. Keep you occupied here. And then there's a little packet full of magnets to create structures. Lots of Legos on the show floor, but not always other fun building tools like this. <laughs> I'm going to let you go ahead and figure that out while, while, we're, while, we're, yeah. while we're sitting here, while we're doing this live. Also, you know, stickers at the show are really popular all the time. I almost feel like it's a sticker competition. Both of our laptops are covered in them. I thought Aptum did kind of a fun one. They were really bringing in the modern memes here <laughs> and, 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 and just going for it. I mean, one does not simply deploy naked pots, Rob. Obviously. Very nice. Yes. So I thought that was kind of fun. <laughs> it's hard to stand out in the sticker space, but, you know, it's possible. Also, we had two uh, wonderful humans on from Google at the show with us. We had Bobby and Gary this week. All about the fresh Google fanny pack. Crossbody, however you might want to look at it. Perfect size for a cell phone. Or we were talking about walking the dog and, and having the supplies necessary for that. I just think it's kind of fun and bright and, and, and really will pair well with my tin tree fanny pack that we have here. Just fannies. Fanny packs have a moment. Covered. Fanny's covered. <laughs> you're, you're, exactly. Your small bag is covered here. And, <laughs> and, and I think it's actually pretty, pretty sweet. Something else that stood out to me that was kind of fun, you and I both always trying to keep our voices together when we're, when we're on these shows, is WSO2, actually, they're a team all the way in from Sri Lanka, and they brought in some oops, there we go, some Sri Lankan tea, which I'm actually really excited to try. We might have to try a cup yes. this afternoon. I think that would be really fun. I, I, I always find it's, it's compelling when companies come and, and celebrate the city that we're in, whatever that might be. So all of our Opera Ski vibes going on in here right now, or celebrate the country of origin. And uh, Sri Lanka is not close to Salt Lake City, Utah. No. They've definitely been. <laughs> definitely not. This is a commitment to be at but, this show. It's where the baby tea leaves are made for Snapple as well. You know, I was wondering about that. So. I, I was thinking there might have been a, a little bit of a, of a parallel. <laughs> um, and, you know, it's, it's our job as analysts to read the tea leaves. And in that particular brand, if you look, it will tell you the elevation at which it was farmed. And because the different elevations give you a different, a different flavor in the tea. Wow. Or it should in there. That's awesome. We're going <laughs> to... Well, we can go we can look into it <laughs> We've afterwards. got these psychedelic glasses yes, on. I'm absolutely. Hey, you've got to bring the fun facts in yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My ability to read is a little, little impaired. All right. So actually, I got I to gotta shoot us straight. I, the very first thing that I noticed when I came on the show floor, actually on Tuesday before it was even open, was ski goggles. Now, I don't know about you. I have never seen ski goggles at a show. I thought that was pretty sweet. Yeah. It certainly made me feel like I was I was ready for the slopes. 
on, and this is actually from Chain Guard. Shout out to Dustin, who hangs out with us as an analyst and has been at many KubeCons with us. Appreciate him and the team hooking us up with these. That was very thoughtful. Filling out our outfits here, Cortex also did a sweet beanie. There are actually many beanies around here, and considering I don't know that all of us were ready for snow on this trip, which, which definitely was here, I can imagine that, that these have been both useful and fun. Great way to get your brand out there. There's more than just t-shirts. You know what I mean, Rob? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think that's the big piece of it is that being creative and going outside the box, not just doing a hat or a, uh, you know, a normal hat kind of thing. Like yeah, you said, fully embracing the actual ability to be in a location. In fact, on, yeah. on the main stage today, they showed uh, one of the women who was up there was showing her daughter snowboarding as we were oh, watching. Oh, you mentioned on, that. On, yeah, you on, showed on, me on actually, which was pretty wild. On the keynote. So I think, you know, really embracing that skiing theme and that theme of going down downhill quickly or getting right up to the top and then, you know. <laughs> hopefully none of us are going downhill quickly, Bob. Uh, that's true. <laughs> I mean, you know, hopefully. But you did use some prefer to, to I, you, were, you are a, a racer, yes. an absolute baller on the slopes, so I'm not surprised I mean, to hear yeah. you say that. All right, there's a lot of competition here in terms of great products. Rob, I gotta ask, what do you think is your, is your favorite? I, well, I mean, I'm sitting here playing with this. I, I like, over, I like uh, actually the space lift uh, hangover kit was really, really thoughtful. And I think, again, tying it back to not only their brand, but the brand from uh, Open Tofu and the Open, open Community. I really like that. And it was uh, just, just really thoughtful. And I think the T, from WSO2 is actually really good. Uh, I think we can basically throw it to that as well and be able to look at that. So there's a lot, but where'd you go? Where are you? <laughs> what happened? Oh, you know, I'm just over here sledding since we've been shredding it all week. Tintry not only did those fanny packs and the Opera Shotsky inflatable, they've also gone full throttle and given us sleds. Now, this is pretty sweet. I mean, I, you can see here how robust it is. Our production team was even commenting on how great this is. I feel like you could also use this going down a lazy river. You could have this in the pool over the summer. This is a multi-seasonal inflatable sleigh. And I have to say, for me, Tentry slayed the, sw the swag challenge. This is, this, is, this is pretty fun. I mean, I quite genuinely, with all this swag here right now, I feel like I could just hit the slopes. Absolutely. We're gonna have to plan. We're gonna have to plan a cube winter ski vacation. I, I I'm excited. All right. So Tintry, excellent job. Shout out for just the absolutely stellar swag. But honestly, a lot of great contenders. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of quality of products. Let us know what you think is the coolest product in the comments or where you're gonna head skiing this winter. And thank you for tuning in to our wonderful three days of adventurous coverage here up in the mountains in Salt Lake City, Utah at KubeCon North America. My name is Savannah Peterson. You're watching theCUBE, the leading source for swag coverage.